Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, coming at you this Friday afternoon from where else? The NYSC. And guess what, guys? It's almost here. And we're going to get it started early. The three-day weekend, a couple hours away. It's barbecue time. It's beach time. And it's my official start to the summer. So let's have a drink, right? It's not 4 o'clock yet. The investors, the traders, they're still working behind us, those that are here. And lift your, so you know what? Lift yourself a glass. Cheers for a very special happy hour here in New York City. U.S. stocks, they're narrowly mixed this Friday afternoon as investors take in strong core inflation, this ahead of Fed Chair Janet Yellen's afternoon speech. Now, the Labor Department said its CPI, that's the Consumer Price Index, rose 0.1% last month with a core figure that discounts food and energy up 0.3%. That's the largest gain since January 2013. Also, trading volumes expected to be lighter than usual, this ahead of the three-day Memorial Day weekend. But investors, those who are not celebrating the weekend already, will maintain focused on Janet Yellen's 1 p.m. Eastern speech on the economy to the Greater Providence Chamber of Commerce. Meanwhile, the U.S. dollar turning positive, gaining nearly 1% with the euro lower at $1.10. Crude oil futures for July delivery down a dollar and a quarter to 59.47 a barrel over at the New York Mercantile Exchange. And gold futures, they're down about a dollar to 12.0310 a troy ounce. And when you combine all of that, you have yourself a session right behind me where about four stocks have declined for every three adventures at the New York Stock Exchange. Let's now take a look to see how the markets are shaping up to close out this week, just ahead of a three-day holiday weekend. And on the corporate front, we have to talk about Campbell's Soup. Earning an adjusted 62 cents per share for the latest quarter, that's 10 cents above expectations. However, revenue for the soup company falling short due to currency effects. Campbell's also saying its full year sales will fall towards the lower end of its projected range, but earnings would be at the more favorable end. And with that stated, once again, kick back, relax, grab yourself a drink. We have ourselves a three day weekend. Everybody here in this country, it's a beautiful thing, isn't it? And I'll see you guys all on Tuesday morning. For ModernWallStreet.com saying have yourself a great and safe holiday weekend, I'm James Sweeney.